Now I've got a little project I want to do. Um, it's for a gift for somebody, so you might as well watch what I'm doing. And I've got this template of a butterfly. Um, I'm going to need some scissors, Chinese braid, um, lace, little handmade flowers. I've got some fabric. I've also chosen some tassels, uh, dangling tassels. I may need some of this, not sure. Chipboard to cut it out and some little bits of beaded string. So, I'm just, I need this first. Let me just work. Oh, and I'm gonna need um, a handmade tassel. And let's see, because I'm having something pink. Uh, that's too long. You could do that one, I suppose. No. No, 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 no. I might go for that. I like that colour. Matches that. That'll do. Right. So we'll pop that to one side. Pop that to one side. And that. And now what we need to do is to cut out the butterfly so let me get my pencil hopefully it will work bit of a crappy pencil but never mind let's see i do have a better one somewhere Right, shut them away, and those, oh we need those out, so we've got this, now I'm going to cover it, but it's going to be tricky because of the shape, well it would be tricky if it was uh, not me, <laughs> I always find a way to do it all, so um I'm going to do uh, two pieces first, and you'll see what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to cut this strip. I've chosen this stripe because it's really nice. It's a canvas fabric, so I know it will last. I'll just cut that straight down the middle. So what I'm going to do is glue that on there first. Okay, right, that's covered that. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So now I want that side covered as well. There's a little trick to doing this. Just sit that on there. Right, I'm going to flip that over. Flatten that out. Just do a little bit at a time. <sighs> I 
and work your way around. Like that. So as I'm squashing it down, pressing onto it, I'm moving it outwards. Like that. Now, let's have a look at this. So we need to do like an edge on it. Shorten that a little bit. Okay. So in the creases, do that. And we've done that. And then what you're going to do is start from that end. And we're just going to trim that off. Cut it to the edge as best you can. Now, now that we've got that right, just take your time with it. It's not worth, um, you know, doing it wrong. Right, so what I'm going to do now is just start on one of these ends here. And pop that on. Like that. So we just glue that and move that on. Do one at a time so you're overlapping them. Because the braids and that will cover that. So now we've got that covered in what we want. <laughs> I might use a smaller one actually. So, um, and I'm going to use a smaller trim as well. Now remember to gather it slightly so it doesn't pucker as you're going around the edge. That's fine, I'm happy with that. Had enough just. Okay, now we're going to put the larger one on. We are, we are, we are, when I can get to it. Again, we do. I'm going to put that straight onto the top of that one, and uh, we do have to gather it. You can tell if it's going to pucker because it'll pull.
like that. Sorry about that, hopefully. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Yes. Right. So, oh, strands, strands. I know you can put the heat gun on. I do know that. But I just don't like them crawling all over my... feels like they're crawling over my skin. Got to get it off my hands. Ah. Right. That's it. So we've got that. Isn't that pretty? Now what I'm gonna do is put that in the I'm gonna use a smaller braid. Let's see what we've got. Now, before I go any further, because this is like a it's not brown, it's like a, a plum colour. And that's what I thought this is going to look stunning on there. But I did have some of this as well. Yes. So what I'm going to do is cut that little bit off there. And... Cut that there. So what I'm doing, basically, I'm just going to make myself like a little... Um, tassel thing to go from the butterfly down. Now let me just see. Oops. So I may need to cut these. See like, oh no I like that and then I'm going to cover that you see. I'm going to do it on the back. I'm just going to glue it onto the back. Like that. I'm going to cover the back so I'm not fussed about that at all. And I don't want to cut that yet. I may do, but not yet. I'm going to pop this. I'm going to pop it under. I am going to, yes. This is the one I made yesterday. Well, not yesterday, I showed yesterday. I make them all the time. Now, let me just pick this up to work this. I might need to pull that back there. That's it. I'm not fussed about that because you're not going to see it when it's on properly. Let me just, yeah, and that needs to be cut to about there. Don't waste them. They can come in handy. Yeah. In fact, I'm just going to pop on a couple more leaving the full length but just fold that in half because there is a gap at the back just pop that there and that should fill that yes that's right that fills that gap I might put them on after now I'm quite happy with that at the moment now while I'm at it I also need to put on a hanger and for that I'm just going to use a little bit of cream ribbon. It's just a small hanger. Now what you do when you get it to hang right um, is you cross it over so it hangs. I'm just going to do that. A little bit of glue on there. Like that. And then press that onto there. And then like I said, they're going to have a back to it as well, so that's going to be fine. Like that. Now, I'm going to gather this, I think. Yeah, should we cut it? So we'll move it out of the way. Right. 
Right, now I've done that. A bit tedious. Some crafting jobs are tedious, I have to say. Wait and see, those that say, oh, what's she doing now? <laughs> Wait and see. where I really will get covered in glue. That'll do. That was just you know, isn't that pretty? Yeah, like that. I think I'm just gonna alter this. I don't need the really long ones on. Right, now, let's have a look. I've got this one or this one. Not sure, although I like that. Right, I'm just going to cut a small piece of this. It is part of a doily, but I like the, the frill. So I'm just going to chop all of that off take it back to the white line and then I'm just going to add it to there don't have to do it all over I can do what I want when I want because it's my project and that's the best thing about crafting you're not following anybody else I want that little bit there I like the frill yeah I'm gonna put another layer on because I want to I like that. Do I want to do that? See, keep changing my mind, but yeah, I'm going for it. Okie dokie. I'm just going to push that in a little bit so we can see, kind of like a double layer. Just bring that in there. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Yes, I like that. Um, now, oh, oh no, that's going to look gorgeous. We'll have that there. So don't worry about that. We found one for this project. Um, I'm going to need a flower. Now, I've just taken it off of something else. So it just needs a little bit of a fix. This is a flower I made 
oh, a while ago and I wasn't keen on it on the project it was on so I'm fine I'm fine with it like that and I think that's just gonna look stunning sat in there and I've shown you how I do these they're not hard at all oh I like that isn't that pretty hmm I like that now yeah I need to do that Right, what I'm going to do with this, just move that to one side. Where have I put my scissors? There we are. I need to cut several of these. I only want the scalloped edge because I need to change. Look, that's wrong. Let me see. I need to change that. That's what I need. So we'll move those to one side. Now let's have a, a go at this. I need that at the top. I need the exact same thing at the bottom like that right okay then I need one to cross over there and one to cross over there so we're going to go one two let me just see like that one to cross over there and one there and then the other one goes there now oops let's just see I need to glue that in This one as well, like that. Yeah, that'll do. Take this back, and I'm just going to put it in this side here. So we just have that like that oh that's just that's just gorgeous you can see it's a butterfly you can i love the beaded dangles it does match with the heart now um where's my felt there we go just pop that on there take a white pencil if mine work and mark it there we go oh glue strands right let's quickly Cut that. Move that to one side. Turn the butterfly upside down. And that should fit perfectly on. That's just great. Great. I'm just thrilled with that. So I'm just going to. Glue that in.
There we go. Oh, you just got a nice. Do you know what? You can, if you double sided them, you could do them for Christmas uh, ornaments, which I've done. I've shown you how to do those as well. But you know, these trims can just come in handy for anything. Now, I just not quite happy with all of it. Um, I think we're missing some bling. We are, aren't we? Let's just see. We need a little tiny bit of bling, I think. And I think we just pop that here. One of these little flowers, just earrings. And you know what? I'm gonna do a couple more, I think. You know when you just see something, you think, oh yeah, it could just do with one bit more. And they are slightly different, but it doesn't matter at all. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that, I think. Not too sure. I suppose we could do. Now, you see, I don't like to overdo at all. Um, I think you spoil things when you do that. And there's no need to. So we'll keep all those bits. We can go in there. Template in the template drawer. Sorry about that. Um, and I'm quite happy. I think that's turned out well. I think that's really pretty. And that could, I mean, that could go on a project. We don't need to do any more to it. Hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Take care. Again, use all your bits and pieces. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.